days throughout the year. Uh, we are already planning for the future, and I will make the announcement today that all our Sprout students have been selected by the Kauffman Center to perform at future stages on June 16th, and you will get to perform in the Kauffman Center on their stage. So we're really excited.
from a professor at a distinguished university in Texas. And he called me. He called me because he knew of Harlan Chamber music, and he knew he'd been to our concerts a few times because he had pieces and methods that were in the program. And over the years, he seen a lot of these things grow up. And he called to tell me that he had been in a meeting at the university where they invited six of the top English and philosophy students at the university who were graduating to present the novel that they had written. And at the end of this one particular student's presentation, he said the panelists, and the panelists were a group of scholars and authors and poets, and he said, this young lady had done such a great job that one of the authors was in tears, and the others all remarked about how exceptional her presentation was. She done such a great job, and I didn't have anything to do with music, right? But he said, I had to call you because I am convinced that because of the programs like you run there at Hartman, that these kids grow up understanding how to speak and perform and have such a presence of confidence. And their academics are so strong. He said, I've seen it several times now. I wanted to call you to tell you what important work you were doing down there. I guess it's up there. So that was one thing. I tell you that story to tell you this one. It was about 10 years ago, actually it was more than 10 years ago, that I was standing around in the hallway of a small college in Villa, Kansas, and I was listening in on kids practicing for their next performance. Now, Cliff Jones recently retired as a financial advisor from Edward Jones where he was very successful in his own life. And Cliff and I, I had the honor of working with Cliff, who was a client of mine for five or six years. And every time I visit him, I'd tell him what was going on with Heartland Chain Music and Sprouts. And he would ask a lot of questions. And I wanted to know more than that. Now, Cliff, you don't play violin, do you? Right? You don't play violin, do you? They don't have kids who play violin. They don't have family members in the here. But they were interested. They saw the vision. And they believed in the vision. And they knew that an investment in people at a young age can have a profound impact on our community. And failing to make that investment at a young age can have an opposite profound impact. True story. Do you know how governments decide how many jails they need to build? They look at the first, second, and third grade literacy rates. And using that of those statistics with others, they say, okay, if people can't read at this age, we're going to have some trouble, so we'll need this many jail cells. It's our superheroes that know those things, that understand those things, and are willing to get behind us and support us and help us find the funding to make this happen. So with, with Cliff's help, now Cliff and Diane are not new to philanthropy. They run the Clifford and Diane Jones uh, Foundation that supports not only kids' music education, they support adult music education, uh, they support community building uh, programs in times of disaster, they support uh, programs that support advocacy for, uh, adopt for foster youth, and they support a lot of other programs that you'll never hear about. They've dedicated their lives to being superheroes, really.